everybody and welcome to another Let's Mod Minecraft. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make minecart uh, displays. It's really easy and it's really effective because you could do so much creative stuff with this mod. So let's get into showing you how to do it. Uh, here it is. As you can see, we have the sword of power. You walk up and it's just a really cool effect. I really like doing these. I really like using these in my builds and I think you guys could come up with some really cool creative stuff. So let's go ahead and show you how it's done. Uh, so let's jump over and first off, you're just going to want to get into your Xbox world. It doesn't matter where you're at or your PlayStation or your Wii or your PC. It doesn't matter wherever you're at. And uh, I'll just show you guys real quick. I'm standing right here. And I am on PC. It does work for all versions. Save and exit out of your Minecraft game. Go ahead and load up the Universal Minecraft Editor. Go to the selected world that you have that you were just playing on. Uh, so let's go ahead and select mine. There it is. Go ahead and open it on up. And go ahead and go to your players. And just right click. Or you can uh, double click. It's whatever. Uh, my right click's not working for the PC. But if you're on a different console, you might be able to. And you can go to the chunk locator. But if not, go ahead and go like that. Go to position, get the chunk, and go, let's go ahead and 385 for mine. And 398. So let's go ahead and open that up. And as you can see, this is the chunk I am now standing in. Uh, so you can see my command block. You can see my entities. Here are the mine carts. And this is what they look like. But we don't need to do none of that. Just go ahead and load up your entities. Go back into the video and get the custom paste bin I have right here. And just double click and select all. Press copy. Go back to your Universal Minecraft editor. Go to your entities and paste it in right like so. Uh, now we have this one. And what we're going to do is go to the position and just delete it. So that one no longer has a position. Let's go back over here. Press copy from your uh, player tab so you're gonna place it where you are and come back over here and just click paste save it press ok load back your minecraft world and let's check it out bam just like so and if you guys if you want to change the obsidian block uh, by the way you can write in it uh, but if you want to change the obsidian block to something else let me show you guys real quick how to do that so let's save and exit real quick uh, and then if you come over here to the internet, you, there will be a list of Minecraft IDs. Let's go ahead and make it to something pretty cool, like maybe this sponge. So let's select this, press copy. Go ahead and go back over to your Universal Minecraft Editor. And this is the one we were just on. Go ahead and go right here to Display Title. Press Control V and press Enter. Now click Save, and that is it. Let's go back to our Minecraft. And like I said, this does work for all versions of Minecraft, guys, the exact same way. And bam, there you go. And then you could do anything you want, have rails, make cool stuff like this. Let me show you guys how I've done it. Uh, we have rails down there just going in areas. And that is pretty much it. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and let me know what other kind of Let's Mod Minecraft series you'd like to see. I'm Daycom Black Rose, and I'm out. Bye! My father told me when I was young, don't play with fire, be careful, son. But we were flames and fell in love